are you a pleaser? Like, you try or you just don't even care, and you're the exact opposite. You could care less about what anybody thinks. Do you realize that neither one of those create what's needed in this life to win, to connect, to build? Let me talk about me. I, I grew up a pleaser. I grew up a pleaser for many, many different reasons. But at the end of the day, one of the things that I discovered is that I didn't know who I was because I was a puppet. Now, I know that's the lowest way to describe a pleaser, but mm, when you slow it down, I did what needed to be done so that I could get the acceptance that I wanted to feel the love that I needed. Hmm. How many people are still doing that today? It's kind of a big deal. And or wait, you're so ice cold, nobody can get through to you. And so therefore you leave and run and don't have significant relationships. And when something gets difficult that doesn't go your way, you bolt. And so therefore you never experience intimacy. I'm not here to suggest that one is worse than the other. But for this Monday moment, I want to see if you can dial in. There's this idea of just getting to know you and discovering what you like and what you don't like and being comfortable with that. And it's like we're always jockeying to try to find out where we fit. And it's extremely common that we're either ice cold or we're seeking to please. And as I said a moment ago, we both lose in those moments. There's something about the human psyche that the world is set up in such a way to keep us disconnected from it. Whether that's someone always abusing the pleaser or the pleaser setting themselves up for abuse because they haven't learned to love themselves. And so therefore, everything is based on what's happening outside of them. Or the person who's ice cold, who refuses to become intimate and connected because Everything is a tool. Everything is a tool. I must protect. I must fight. I must be strong. I must fight against. Which then leads to sickness and exhaustion and stress. I propose the same solution for both. Taking the time to identify and connect with you is where you're going to find the most value. Not for the people outside of you, one way or the other, but for you. You see, a lot of times what's happening in life is we are all really doing our very best from where we stand, right? Like we're all really trying. But when we're trying from the premise that exists outside of ourselves, then we miss the opportunity to become, to be, to experience all of which life has to offer us. I know for me, especially growing up being a pleaser, what it did was it allowed me to Miss opportunities that could have been catapulting me into some of the things that I do now, much sooner in life. Who knows? Well, I'm not going to sit here and like whine about what could have, should have, would have been. I just know that now that I'm aware of that, I do all I can with my kids and I do with my friends to empower you to be present now to what works for you. And then my friends who are on the other side where no one can get in. I'm so ice cold. I got it. I get it. You don't want to be abused, but you're abusing yourself because you're not allowing yourself to experience the love, the vitality, the uncertainty that comes with life because there's a fear that you must be in control. I invite you to let go a little bit. And allow life to shape and show you some things. Allow your heart to be a little vulnerable. Allow your mind to allow others to connect and exchange with you. Why, Marquise? Why does any of this matter? Because the truth is, we really don't live when we're not toned in to who we actually are. We're either fighting or running to seek help. I don't know, but I'm willing to bet. That as you discover who you are, then it doesn't matter if it's storming outside, one day, sunny the next, someone's with you, someone's not with you, you're good. Because you've learned to be alone. Not alone like lonely, but alone with the greatness of who you are. This is your coach, Marquise. This was the Monday Moment. Peace.